Hi, can I get a safe ride from 1107 South 2nd Street to 311 East Daniel? Uh, 311 East Daniel. Okay, we'll come out right now. I will. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Bye-bye. In the past two years alone, there have been 27 cases of sexual assaults, 18 robberies, and 20 cases of aggravated assaults on campus. Most of these involved victims who were walking alone at late night hours. Safe Rights is an after-dark rant service provided by MTD and the University of Illinois. It runs from 5 p.m. to 6 a.m. every day and provide safe transportation for individuals who are traveling alone when no other means of transport is available. Hi, my name is Sue Greer. I work at uh, Champaign or Mass Transit District. I've been here for 29 years now. And we're here today talking about Safe Rides. Yes. Safe Rides provides a service that uh, is very unique, I think. Uh, that that a lot of campuses around the country aren't even offering right now. We have offered it for now for about 15 years, and it's, it's a very unique program. It, yeah. We have Safe Ride East, we have a Safe Ride Southwest, and a Safe Ride Northwest. How that works is that they, uh, between the time of 9 and 3, they have time points that they go to. Uh, they go over to the Union, and they all three vans meet over there and they would transfer any of the passengers going to their area, or to another area. So you have limits of the number of people we can pick up per location, and that's the number three. We can only pick Actually, it's not a strict rule considering what the concept of safe rights is. Okay. It's for people traveling alone, True. Okay. basically. And we have campus service other than safe rights out there. We have buses out there that also are safe rights. Our whole system at late night are safe rides. Any bus you get on, any van you get on, it's a safe ride. You know, we do the best we can to get the people, but if we have an influx of uh, calls, we're going to be delayed. Okay. So if you can take a bus, to, uh, you know, a bus or, an, or, you know, if we give another option, please listen to us and <laughs> maybe consider that option because we may not get to you as quickly as, as you think we should. And we have a good team out there. We always have a good team of safe ride operators who do their best and they care. And it's not just a job. We care about you guys, the students out there. We care about your safety and we want to get you home safe. Safe ride pickup at Newmark going to 107 East Springfield for one. Come out right now. Have your card ready, please. Where are you going? Uh, 306 East, right? Okay. Well, my name is Lynn, and I drive. I'm one of the regular drivers for Safe Rides. Uh, I run the Southwest area. So, uh, there's. there's. Safe Rides Southwest. I pick up at I, I Hotel. Going to 107 East Springfield. 10 4 Control, get I Hotel 1014. And Safe Ride Northwest, I pick up at Smith, go to 512 West Griggs. And that's what I do. Safe Ride, get Smith, My maximum passenger load for one day was 133. That's well, I'm not sure that, I'm not sure that enough people that should be using it use it. Um, I have a tendency to find at least once a night somebody that looks like they need a ride. If I see someone that looks like they may be in trouble or if I see someone that's just wandering down a dark street alone, um, I'll stop and pick them up and I'll call patrol and let them know. Okay. Yeah, they're going to have to walk to, she'll walk to 6 and 3 because I'm not going to pick her up at a bar. Okay. That's totally against U of I rules. I tell you what, if, if you're coherent, I'm not going to complain. I'm, I'm not worried about your drinking or what you're doing, but I will not allow you to be carried on. Okay. I will allow you to be assisted on, but if you're laying in the grass and someone's going to have to carry you on, I want medical. I will stories, lots of silly things that happen, and 
one little girl asked me one night, she says, what's the funniest thing you've ever seen? And I, and I happened to be looking across the street and I said, that dress and them boots. <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, because my boys grew up and left home and I was suffering from empty nest and mm -hmm. now I've got all these college kids that are right here and I just kidnap them for 20 <laughs> minutes and visit with them and you know, um, if you there's not a bus driver or a van driver out here that um, doesn't get to know their regular passengers, and I think maybe that's why the job is is so nice because there is that that option. Uh, you know, you can get to know the people that that you drive around, that you pick up at labs and take home, that you you know pick up and take to the grocery store. That you know. Service is consider is safe and to especially for the single one or individuals to work go home in the deep, uh, in the you know, night crime is going up or I'm just hearing about it a lot more but I've been starting to use safe rides a lot um, which, I would, which is why I would assume they would increase the amount of people out on safe rides. I've probably used this a couple times this semester okay. um, but even though I live on campus it's dangerous walking by yourself so it's I've never really had a bad experience with safe rides, so I trust them. And also I think people have more of a sense of freedom knowing that we're there, they can go study and stay somewhere longer, and that they're going to get a ride home safe. And it doesn't matter if they stay there until 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. But it's kind of like, okay, you know, I, I'll see you next hour. I'll call safe.